know, 2000 Buddha fans have got to go there and hopefully, hopefully Raw is onto a victory, but you know what it is, it's, it's hard to see now. I can't take it at Norwich, I can't stand Norwich, it's that club that just irritates me. What is going on? Welcome back to another video. Now, this video, I did film one yesterday on the way back from the train station last night. It's very, very late though. Uh, it didn't come out quite how I planned. Um, I just want to basically do a quick little video on stuff happening in and around Middlesbrough Football Club at the moment. Uh, being the two draws, of course, of the Carabao Cup. First time ever, I think, that we've had the second round draw and then straight afterwards have the third round draw. It's a little bit confusing at first, but I think many, many people sort of understood it after it happened and, you know, it all came to sort of light. Uh, and, of course, there's a bit of transfer news as well regarding Middlesbrough. And one that has really annoyed me, right, if this does actually happen, oh, it will absolutely infuriate me, absolutely infuriate me. But let me get into, of course, you know, the Carabao Cup draws in case anybody hasn't seen it. And who know on this channel, I do have a lot of sort of over sort of seas Middlesbrough fans. I don't often see many news regarding, regarding Middlesbrough Football Club, um, Cup games, results, etc. Basically, of course, Middlesbrough won the first round against Shrewsbury. You know, just about came through that one. Uh, almost banana skinned it, but listen, we came through with four free winners. Fantastic. Um, and of course, you know, I've already put my sort of views on that sort of game. Go and check it out. Um, I think it was our last video on the channel. Um, but basically, second round draw is, of course, at home um, to Barnsley. At the moment, it doesn't really matter if you're home or away. It's kind of like a neutral venue, isn't it? No fans at the stadium. doesn't matter where else the games are getting played, really. It has no real impact on the home advantage or whatever else. So, yeah, Barnsley at home. Um, and, of course, the tough away game to Chelsea, um, of course, for the third round of the Cup. Now... That's all well and good, and I do hope that Middlesbrough do do well inside this uh, you know cup, cup sort of run. But for me personally, I don't want a cup run. And I know many people might be sat there now going, "Oh yeah, Jim, I genuinely I'm not bothered for a cup run." Let me bring it down a little bit. I'm genuinely not fussed for a cup run. Like they do not bother me this season. When you're inside the championship, why is your main priority going to be a cup run? It, it isn't, is it? Let's be honest. It is not our priority this season. To go through a cup run and try and smash the cup to bits and try and win it. It'd be great to win it. Do not get me wrong. I would love to win it again. But right now, our current state of affairs, our team is very much fringe. And, yeah, I just I just don't feel like a cup run is what Borough need or Borough need to aim for. Of course, this is always well to do once at the cups, you know. I guess... I guess I guess there's a little bit of money in there, but not loads of money inside the Carabao Cup, more money inside the FA Cup. But listen, okay, if we can get past Barnsley, some of each Chelsea would be unbelievable, but realistically, if we went out to Barnsley, okay, I'd be sad, yes, but at the same time, I think, you know what, there's now no more distractions until, of course, you know, the FA Cup. Uh, I just don't want any distractions for us. I don't want our players' heads to go down, um, you know. I don't think they would to Barnsley, with no disrespect, but I think if we went to go and play Chelsea and they beat us something like 5 nil. our players then could drop and that could be like a month of results not going our way because of exactly you know how exactly the players are sort of feeling and it could just be a nightmare so for me personally yeah I don't really want a cup run if we did well in it then fair enough but for me personally there's our cup ties there's my opinions on it second bit of news and it did really annoy me to be fair to the scene today Ainsley pays um it could be getting sold I, do, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Right? We need a goalkeeper. We're in about selling Thomas Mayer to a Romanian team who's never really featured, put really. Um, so at the moment, you know, both obviously got three goalkeepers Percy, Dejan, Mayas. Mayas is about leaving. They're on about selling Percy, who for me is definitely the best goalkeeper out of them three. But, you know, they're about selling Percy and then, of course, keeping Dejan, who. Dejan, I don't really rate. I'll be honest with you. I've seen him now a handful of times. I don't really rate him. I love Percy. And I do think he's got an amazing career ahead of him. You know, he's shown loads and loads and loads of potential. Okay, he's a bit inexperienced. But he's also showed the potential to, you know, be a good goalkeeper. Um, I'd be good to see him go. And I'd be absolutely infuriated to see him leave. Um, especially, you know, he's only a young lad. He's still got a lot of development to do. Why can't we keep him on? I don't know. But surely that means then that Borough have to go get a goalkeeper and hopefully someone that's actually half decent. Um, I've seen a lot of Borough fans saying that apparently, you know, they do not want the Charlton goalkeeper. Either way it is, whoever does come in, I hope that they do a job. You know, season starts, you know, this coming Friday. 
it's very, very gross. And, uh, you know, I heard Neil Warnock saying that, the, I think it's on Thursday, apparently apparently a play could be coming in on Thursday, which you listen, right, could be good news, that one, of course. Um, but as I said before, we need, realistically, we need signings in the door. That's the absolute truth about it. I'd just be very, very annoyed to see Ainsley go. Uh, and I still think, you know, that he does have, you know, a little bit of potential still left in him. Or should I say, really bags of potential left in him. And, uh, yeah, I think, you know, I would leave a sour taste in my mouth, you know, if he is to leave at such a young age. But that is basically the current news of Middlesbrough Football Club. The ins and no possible, oh, sorry, I should say the outs and no possible ins at the moment, apart from Thursday when apparently a player could be joining the Borough. Kickoff is obviously, you know, this Friday. It's 46 games to go. The cup run scare me in the terms of if we pick up an injury against Barnsley or Chelsea or even a couple of injuries. You know, our team is so, so fringe that we can't afford a single injury. It's a concentrate on the 46 games ahead. Warnock wants promotion. Um, so if you want that, you know, to achieve that, you know, you've got to keep the squad fit. It's only a little squad as well. We haven't got a massive, massive squad, you know, to sort of pick from. Um, you know, so I don't I don't know if a cup run's best for us this season, I'll be completely honest. Let me know your thoughts, so down below inside the comment section, people. Check out my social media's link inside the description. Can we hit 35 likes on this video? That'd be amazing. I'll see you next time. Peace out.